you're and we, we're now. actually just rolling, so we yeah. didn't actually catch that. But here we are at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, along Hollywood, thanks to at Jeff Pulver. Uh, we're at the 140 character conference, and you flew all the way here from Sydney for this. I did I'm, I'm even a little jet lagged from it right now? But you were fabulous on the panel today. Thank you very much. And got everyone excited, and we had a really good turnout because everyone's interested in. I was just about ready to say everyone's interested in Doctor Wave, <laughs> not wow, Google I hope Wave. That's not the case, but yes. Hey Google, we've got we've got our own separate brand here. It's not about Google Wave anymore. It's about Doctor Wave. <laughs> You should have seen the women in the audience too. <laughs> but anyway, so tell. Actually, I'm curious about Doctor Wave. So how did the how did the name come Dr. about? Doctor Wave was actually um, started as a joke within the team. It was uh, the original idea was when we wanted to explain Wave, we actually wanted it to be sort of a robot you could add to a Wave, and then you could start explaining. Um, and, and then you could get Dr. Wave to answer questions, and then at some point when it couldn't answer questions automatically, it would flip to a person. But then there was a late night where lots of people didn't have sleep, and we had a lot of Japanese food and a little bit of sake. And then, you know, Dr. Wave somehow emerged. Um, after I, the sake. After the sake, and uh, and and uh, I was I was named Doctor. And now you're a legend. <laughs> I, or now, on your way to be a, being a legend. I, 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 now now I try to explain what the product is to people. I you know legendary status has to be preserved for for people of of, of the stature. Right. Well, there's certainly a lot of buzz. A lot of people want to know more about it. And you've got what a hundred about a hundred thousand users and plus, right, at the moment. And this is Alex North. And this is Alex North. He's one North of the here. developers on Google Wave. Hi, Alex. Hi there, how are you? We're talking about Google Wave. Fantastic. Yeah, we're just, uh, after we talked about how Dr. Wave got his name. <laughs> and uh, is this, let's have a look at the... This is a uh, Google Australia t-shirt. Go oh, down, oh, that's, down oh, that's cute. That's really clever, actually. Yeah, so uh, so Sergey and Larry, you got two evangelists here who are really wearing your brand everywhere. <laughs> we love it. Even yeah, when even do. when you're not looking. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I wear this T-shirt because uh, I'm proud to be part of Google Australia. So and you are actually great. Australian, yeah, un yeah. unlike what this. Uh, unlike, I'm not Australian. Unlike I live in Australia. I Greg D'Alessandre, yes. alias Doctor Wave. Yes, indeed. Who, who says he's Italian, but I don't know. The white, the white T-shirt and the sneakers, folks. Yeah, those, those sneakers are not Italian sneakers. Not so Italian sneakers, that. That's right? True. That's right. True. So, all right, so tell us a bit more. I, I, I want to know why would I use it? You, you were saying that businesses are going to find more value. Great, great, yeah, exactly. Than consumers. Um, the, here's, if you want to get started with Wade, this is what you would do. Um, choose a way that you work with somebody. Whether it's, you know, um, uh, somebody that you often, like, make a grocery list with or somebody that, you know, if you work in PR or branding, for instance, and you often put together, you know, brainstorm lists of things with people. Um, something where you work together on, that's a good place to start on Wave because, you know, it's kind of like if the first time you ever got an email account and you got it and you logged in and you're like, so now what do I do with it? It's an email account. And... Wave is kind of starting all over, um, just like that. And so what you need to do is think, well, what would I do? How do I want to communicate with someone? How, do I, how would I want to work with someone? Um, choose one of those things and then work with that person. And just try it in Wave. Um, and it, you know, and so it, it seems like it would be good for project management as well. Totally, absolutely. Right? You know, and, and, and start a Wave with somebody. Um, the point behind Wave is with a lot of the technologies today, uh, you, you have to know where you're going. Like, you know, you use IM if you want someone's attention and want to have a quick conversation. But when that quick conversation then turns into, you know, a long, drawn-out conversation with lots of people, you have to, like, copy the IM into an email, and then you start emailing back and forth, and then that email turns into, you know, a document you want to keep forever, and so you... Or copy. try to figure out how to use a wiki. Or try to figure out how to use a wiki, exactly. And so the point of WAVE is what you should be able to do is just start a WAVE. Just start waving with somebody, um, and then, you know, you wrote something, and they don't like what you wrote, and then they go in and edit it, much like a wiki, but then you can start responding to various parts of the wave, much like you, you might do an email. Um, you can ping them on it, much like you might do an IM. Um, but the point is that you don't know where every type of collaboration is going when you start, 
So the tool that you're using shouldn't, you shouldn't have to change tools just because your objective is changing. You should be able to use exactly the same tool, but the technology accommodates what you want to do with it. And that's is, is there the anything? Is there anything else that's out there right now? I mean, we talked about wikis, but is there any existing tool that's even more similar, right, or tries to do what you guys have, have done so far? There's there's a, there's different things, as you said, like wikis, for instance, that touch on different parts of it. Um, Collaboration, you know, but not everyone can edit in real time, right. for example. Or like, or like, it, you know, or it's at the same people, time. Yeah, exactly. People can't edit in, in real time, or uh, or it's hard to figure out who has permissions to it. Or you know, I mean, and uh, like, there's a lot of you know better email clients out there that are starting to you know pull together like IMing and emailing together in one interface. But um, is there permission controls with Wave, or can you set that up? You can you can choose who can participate on a Wave. So it, um, you can make it so a wave can be public, so anyone can participate, or you can just add a small set of people, so it can be public or it can be private. Um, pretty soon we're going to add in more detailed permission controls so that you can do things like read-only, so you can add in a group of people as read-only. Um, we're also going to have reply-only, meaning you can add in a group of people, and they can't edit your blips. We call them blips. Um, it's a long story. We think it's... We like four-letter words. What can I say? Wait, right. blip, ping. Um, Dave. So, yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, you know, we, reply only means, like, they can't edit your blip, but they can reply to it. You know, so we're going to have those kind of permissions. So it's Google Docs, and it's email, and it's IM. Anything else? And, and wiki. Right, so you can make links between waves to other waves so that you can jump from one wave to another. So it, it kind of incorporates all those things together, but not in a way where we're just kind of trying to mash them in together in a way that, so, you know, take three steps back and think about how you would would want a tool to work, and that's what we're trying to build. Instead of saying, well, let's assume it's email and and build on top of email, Let's ass- what we're saying is let's assume you want to get something done, and let's make it easy to get done. I think the other cool thing that a lot of people may not know, I mean, everyone in Silicon Valley probably knows this, but maybe not elsewhere, is that you guys are all down under doing this. So. We are. We are. The whole team is down in uh, Sydney, Australia. And, uh, and, and there's I moved 60 there, of you, you said? 60 of us down there. I moved there uh, a little over a year ago to work on the project, and it's been amazing. It's a great team. So really it probably feels like a startup. It feels a lot like a startup. I, in fact, I've worked at a lot of startups, and this feels more like a startup than most of the startups I've worked at, which is weird, but great. You don't have any of those sort of corporate lawyers and operations people breathing down your back. Well, you know, <laughs> we, you know we obviously still need to... Um, uh, you know, we still need to build a product that scales to, you know, hundreds of millions of people. 